Hey guys, how's it going? Punch for Munch here, back out again for another Challenge Friday! Yes, that's right, it's time for another Challenge Friday, and this time we are switching it up again because today is pop culture reading. What's pop culture reading, you might be asking? Basically, we're going to be reading pop culture literature that's been in our zeitgeist for so long, and I'm going to be doing it while playing a game. So, today's pop culture reading is. Yes, that's right, it's Michael Crichton's Jurassic Park, the original, the original OG. What started all the um, movies and everything, all started from this book. It's one of my favourite books when I was growing up. Way darker than the actual movie itself. A lot more people die in this series. And basically, I'm going to be reading some classic parts of this book that are my favourite while playing H1Z1. Alright, so let's hit in right now, and let's listen to some awesome literature of this amazing book. Okay, let's hit in right now. Okay, so here we go. Down we go. Alright, let's aim for over there at that nice little residential area. Okay, who's, there's also a lot of people going that way as well. Um, doesn't matter as long as I can get there. Two. Oh, oh wow, that person's really booking it. So if people kill each other so fast, they just must spawn right on top of an area. Okay, map. Oh, perfect, I'm right in it. Oh no, I'm right in it. <laughs> well, while we're here, <clears throat> let me read from you my favorite passage. The rain jumped loudly on the surface of the Land Cruiser. Tim felt his night vision goggles pressing heavily against his forehead. He reached, the knob, he reached for the knob near his ear and adjusted the intensity. There was a brief fluorescent glare, and then the shades of electronic green and black could be seen and the shape of the Land Cruiser behind him with Dr. Grant and Malcolm could then be seen. Hey look, some shoes. Uh, no, helmet. Oh, duffel bag. I was hoping there was something here. <gasps> Shotgun! Oh my god. This is the most OP weapon in this game. Like, if you need to survive in this game, especially in a house, this is the weapon you need. Excuse me, I'm going to be hooked up in the shower, just like the lawyer in that in Jurassic Park. Okay. <clears throat> uh. Neat! Dr. Grant was staring at the front windshield towards him. Tim saw him pick up the radio from the dash. There was a burst of static, and then there was nothing. Then he heard Dr. Grant's voice. Can you hear me back there, kids? Tim picked up the radio from Ed Regis. I see you. Everything all right? We're fine, Dr. Grant. Stay in the car. Okay. We will. Don't worry. He clicked the radio off. Ed Regis snorted. It's pouring down rain. Of course we'll stay in the car, he must. Tim turned to look in the foliage to the side of the road. Through the goggles, the foliage was a bright gr electronic green. Beyond, beyond that, he could see sections of the green grid pattern of the fence. The land cruisers were stopped. Okay, so, but he didn't see anything and eventually he stopped looking. Every, every one of the cars fell silent. The rain thrummed on the roof of the car. Sheets of water streamed down the sides of the windows. It was hard for Tim to see, even with the goggles. Long, how long? Ooh, I think I heard noise. Damn it, to be careful. Oh! That's the first time I actually heard someone talk. How long have we been seeing here, Malcolm asked? I don't know, four or five minutes? I wonder if there's a problem. Maybe a short circuit because of the rain. But it ha- <clears throat> Yeah. I'm so nervous because I'm like, I have to look at the book and read this at the same time. So I'm like, oh. He yawned and turned to look at the palm trees on the left side of the road. He started by a sudden thump on the ground. The ground shook. He swung back just in time to catch a glimpse of a dark shape as it swiftly crossed the road in front of the, in between the two cars. Jesus! What was what was it? It was huge, as big as the car. Tim, are you there? That he picked up the radio. Yes, I'm there. Did you see what the hell that was? No, I didn't. It was too fast and too dark. All right. Stay in the cars, said Malcolm. Do you, was it the Tyrannosaur? Edge Regis asked. I don't think so. It was the. It was in the road. But he didn't see it. Edge Regis said. No. 
Tim felt bad. He had missed seeing the animal, whatever it was, with a sudden white crack of lightning and his night vision goggles flared green. He blinked. One thousand. Two thousand. Thunder crashed, deafening loud, very close. Lex began to cry. Oh no! Oh, gotta get moving. Okay, gotta keep moving south. Whoa, 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 crawling along. <clears throat> the thunder crashed. Legs began to cry. Oh no, take it easy, honey, Edry just said. It's just lightning. Tim scanned the side of the road. He scanned the leaves. He stopped. Something moved beyond the leaves on the side of the road. He stopped. There was something there. He looked up higher and higher. Behind the foliage, beyond the fence, he saw a thick body with pebbled grey surface. Rain. Oh, it's just a plane. I was like, a car? The rain cascading down its body. Its grain surface made it look like the bark of a tree. But it wasn't a tree. He continued to look up high. Sweeping the goggles upwards, he saw the head of its Just stand there, looking over the fence at the two land cruisers. Lightning flashed again. The big animal rolled its head, bellowed in the glaring light in the darkness. Tim! Yes, Dr. Grant? What was that? Do you see it? What was it? Yes, Dr. Grant. Yes! Kill him! Okay. That's cool. First aid kit. Okay. Tim had a sense that Dr. Grant was trying to talk in a way that wouldn't upset his sister. What's going on there right now? Nothing, he was. He said, watching Tyrannosaur through his night vision goggles. Just stand there on the other side of the fence. <laughs> okay. Okay, someone's nearby. But where? Straight ahead. Oh, he's got a car. Okay. Oh. Oh, police car as well. Wait, uh. Alright, let's charge in, guys. There's only five of us left. Where is this last group? Oh, there he is. Come on, chase him down. Ah! But I came fifth! Oh! The Tyrannosaurus great body leapt forward, crashing the side of the fence. Oh, there goes a car. It slowly looked about. This huge, great, pebbly skin leg contrasted, running with rivets of rain. There go two cars. And there's a third. I'll stay down for a minute as I let them chase each other. <clears throat> the trance stood there, its eyes slow its bot its head slowly raised. Its eyes slowly came into view of Lex and Tim. They stared at its great expressionless beady reptilian eye. Timmy Lex whispered in his ear. He gripped her he gripped her arm to silence her. They stood there, transfixed, and slowly the head raised away. I think it's okay, whispered Tim. He turned to look at Dr. Malcolm's car. Dr. Malcolm and Ian sat in the car and breathed a sigh of relief. Everything seemed to be going all right when suddenly let Timmy was knocked sideways, slamming into the side of the car. The side. There was sudden blackness. His night vision goggles fell off. Something had hit the car. A spider webs of cracks appeared on the windshield. There was another great thump as he saw the Tyrannosaurus's head slam down to the bonnet of the Land Cruiser. Suddenly there was darkness. Tim could taste blood in his mouth. Lex, he cried. He, he whispered harshly. There was only silence. The, the Tyrannosaurus banged his head against the, the roof of the Land Cruiser. Tim grabbed the front seat to steady himself against the rock. 
The Taras banged its head twice more, this time on the hood of the Land Cruiser. The metal dented. Tim! He heard the radio suddenly spark to life. Dr. Grant was trying to get in touch with him. Ooh. There's people. Let's see, he's going to steal the car. Oh, wow. There goes someone. Okay, back to... There was suddenly... Lex groaned in the darkness. Tim! Tim stared in the darkness, re looking for his sister. The taste of blood, of the copper of blood, strong in his mouth now. So, the Tyrannosaurus, wherever it was, he couldn't see it in the darkness. There was another flash and a giant cacophonous roar. There's another. Woohoo! There's another jolting impact, and pieces of glass fell around him. Tim felt the rain. He looked up and saw the windshield had been broken out. There was a jagged rim of glass beyond. A big head of the dinosaur. It's looking at down at me, he thought. Tim felt the sun chew as the head rushed towards him, and the teeth. Suddenly, as the as the head rushed towards him, open wide teeth glinting in the dark in the light in the light of the lightning oh. the land cru cruiser slowly began to lift up Timmy Lex shrieked so near to his ear it hurt she was suddenly awake he grabbed her as Tyrannosaurus crashed the car down again Tim felt stabbing pain in his side his sister fell on top of him the car went up again tilting crazily Lex shouted, Timmy, he saw the door give way beneath her. She fell out of the car into the mud. Tim couldn't answer because the next instant, everything swung crazily. He saw trunks of palm trees sliding downward past him. Moving sideways through the air, he glimpsed the ground far below. A hot roar of Tyrannosaurus Rex, the blazing eye, the tops of tree palms, palm trees, sorry. And then the metallic scraping shriek as the car fell from the Tyrannosaurus jaws. A sickening fall and Tim's stomach heaved the moment before the world became turned. Can you see it? Malcolm said, squinting. Not much, no. The rain pounded on the car. The two men in the car sat listening. Was that the girl? Did it? Yes. Ooh. Ah! And there we have it everyone, Michael Crichton's Jurassic Park, as read by me while playing a game. Oh, whew, that was intense towards the end there. I came third, the best yet! I mean, I didn't play very hard, but hell, if you survive in, it's survival, doesn't matter. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Maybe I'll do this again next time, maybe I'll choose a different game that doesn't require you like focusing so much, like I'm just trying to survive. Maybe I'll go somewhere with a little bit more like pause time stuff. But anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, see you next time, peace!